Clint Brown here. We're going to have a look at how we can adjust our assembly template files to make builds and materials more usable. So we're all familiar with creating specific templates for drawings, but not many people customize their assembly template. So what am I on about? Well, let's have a look at a bill of materials in a blank assembly document. What you'll notice is our structure tab is always disabled and we don't necessarily have all of the bomb rows that we'd want to have available. So in this example, I'm going to go and grab the thumbnail. I'm going to add it into the view. I'm going to enable my bomb view. And I'm also going to go to the view properties and I'm going to enable all levels. Well, this is my preference for my bill of materials. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those changes and I'm going to save them over my existing template files. So I'm going to go file, save copy as, save copy as template. I'm going to save this over my standard.iam. Make sure that you've got any backups before you do this. Um, but once I've done this change and I replace that file, when I create a new assembly file, you'll see that my bit of materials comes with my structured tab already enabled. And if you look at the view properties, all levels are enabled as well. And my thumbnail is shown over there. So. If I were to place a bunch of components into this assembly, let's place a top level assembly over here. And we look at our bullet materials. You'll see that my assembly is now shown and because I've enabled all levels, I can then expand out the lower levels and I can see all the components that are placed inside of this assembly.